to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's a GCSE and A-level video where we talk about the calculator skills. Okay, so what I'd like to do is I'd like us to be able to check a differentiation we might perform using your calculator. Right, again, just want to point this out. You can't just use the calculator in these cases. You have to understand what you're doing mathematically, but it's a really useful check method. Suppose we want to work out f primed x if f of x is the following, i.e. the differential of this function. Okay, now you must know how to do this. Um, f uh, primed x would be equal to, this is a number so it differentiates to 0, 3x differentiates to 3, and this polynomial here, bring down the 2, so it's 2 times 2, it's 4, and reduce the power by 1. So hopefully you'll get that. Now, in an exam, I just want to double check I've done it right. And what you can do is, you can say mode 1. And you can use this button here, the d by dx button. Shift there, that differentiates whatever function you put in. So let's put in 7 plus 3x um, plus 2x squared. And we have to tell it an x value. Let's say, for example, let's put something quite obscure in. Let's put a 7. So let's put uh, x is equal to 1 over 7. So the calculator will work out this differential and put x is a 7th in, and it tells you the answer is 3.5714, blah, 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 3.5714. So remember that. Now, in our answer that we worked out, if we were to put in f is, um, so 3 plus 4 times 1 7th, Hopefully, we should get, uh, if we put a seventh in here, i.e. what we're doing here is working at 3 plus 4 times 1 seventh. If we get the same answer as the calculator got, then we know our differential must be right. So let's press equals, and we get 3.5714, etc. So we know we've done this right. Let's have a go at another one. If dy by dx was this, uh, work out if... So work out dy by dx if y is equal to this. Again, you must know how to do this. dy by dx, we would firstly write y is equal to 3x to the power of 5 plus 4x to the power of negative 2. And we would differentiate, it would be 15x to the power of 4 subtract 8x to the negative 3. Okay, which is 15x to the power of 4 subtract 8 over x cubed. So what I'm going to do is just as a check method, so it would be over here, it would be pure checking, it wouldn't be part of your working. We could work out dy by dx when let's say x is equal to a 7th. So we're going to substitute a 7th into that. So let's actually use the calculator for that substitution. We could say 15 alpha x to the power of 4 subtract 8 over x cubed. And we press calculate. And we're going to say we're going to put x is a seventh in, so 1 uh, over 7. And we get negative 2743. Let's just write that down. We get negative 2743 dot dot dot. Now let's get the calculator to perform the differential, the differentiation for us. So what we're going to do with the calculator, we're going to say let's d by dx, let's differentiate 3 alpha x to the power of 5 plus uh, fraction 4 over uh, x squared, and we're going to put x like a 7th as our check. Press equals, and we get negative 2743.99. We know then that when we worked out this, it must have been right. And it gives us some comfort in the exam and a check method to check we've done it right. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.